Hey everybody, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu Desktop on a virtual box. Whether you're on a Mac, a Windows machine, or even another distro of Linux, this process is going to be nearly identical no matter what your system. Okay, so the two tools you're going to need for this process is number one, the VirtualBox software. And I'm going to include um, the links in the description box and comment section for you guys to directly access. So this is the VirtualBox site. You're going to need this. It offers options for Windows, Mac, Linux, and even Solaris. So go ahead and click whatever one's appropriate for your machine. Go ahead and download that, get it set up. It's just like any other application you download and get set up on your machine. And then we'll go to the next step. Now we're going to download the Ubuntu desktop. This is quite a bigger download. If you just click it, it should start automatically. It takes you to the next page. If it doesn't download automatically, you can also go here and it will start. And once that is done downloading, then we're going to go to the next step. Now go ahead and open up your virtual box. I already have mine open here. It should look a little something like this. If you just installed virtual box, you're not going to have anything over here, but that is going to change in just a minute. We're ready to get it rocking. We're going to go ahead and click new. And this is the name and operating system prompt. And it says, please choose a descriptive name for the new virtual machine. We're already up and rolling with this. I'll just call this UB2. And look at that. It immediately recognized what I was going for. Uh, Linux Ubuntu 64 bit. Now, if you're not sure or this doesn't automatically go to Linux down here in the type section, you can also just click it and select um, what you want. And then same goes down here as well. We do want the 64 bit version here. Some people watching this may have the exact specifications that they need, but if you're just installing this to play around with it or experiment and just see what it's all about, just stick to what this thing recommends. And in this case, it's 1024 megabytes. We're going to go ahead and go with that. Hit continue. And also with the hard disk, we're just going to follow the default right now. The recommended size of the hard disk is 10 gigs. And I will say um, changing this lower than that, you might run into some problems. So we're going to stick with that. Uh, we're going to create the virtual hard disk. And for the hard disk file type, we're just going to stick with VDI, which is VirtualBox disk image storage on physical hard disk. We're also going to follow the recommended option here for dynamic allocation. And that just means that it's only going to use the space as it fills up. Just having us review our specs here. UB2 sounds good. 10 gigs. Great. We're going to go ahead and create it. And just like that, it created our machine. But now we have to power on and get it set up. That was just the first main task of this whole installation process. So let's go ahead and double click that. Now, as you can see, this is giving me Windows 10 and I need to select the virtual optical disk that is for Linux. So if I go in here, I have it right here, Ubuntu 18.4.2 desktop. That is the one I want to use. But if this option doesn't show up for you or if there's nothing here, you're going to have to click this folder and then navigate to where you downloaded that ISO. Here is my Ubuntu right there. So in this case, you would just navigate to where your computer downloaded this ISO. Go ahead and open. Great. We're going to go ahead and start. This process may be a little laggy. It may take a while. You might get a blue or black screen of death. Just give it a minute. Usually it's just thinking and it does take a while for this stuff to get set up. It is really tempting to X out and start again, but just give it a few minutes if you're not seeing any progress. Normally it's just some lag or it's just getting set up or doing some other sort of thinking. So now we're going to select our language. In this case, it's English. I don't want to try it. I do want to install it. So we'll go ahead and hit install. Keyboard layout is going to be English and English. Continue. Now it's asking what apps I want to install. I'll do the normal installation. All of this is totally up to you and depends on your needs. But for this one, we're just going to go with the default. OK, now we are at the scary menu because it says installation type. The default is erase disk and install Ubuntu. And it gives us warning. This will delete all your programs, documents, photos, music, and other files in all operating systems. That's pretty serious. But remember, we are in a virtual box. And the only thing this is affecting is this virtual machine, this instance of Ubuntu. 
And because this is our first time installing anything on this virtual machine, there is nothing to erase. There's no programs, there's no documents to erase. The virtual box cannot touch your actual machine. So this looks really scary, but actually it's, it's not gonna affect anything. So we're gonna go with that and then install now. Just giving us a warning about the partition tables. No big deal, we're gonna hit continue. Tell them where you want or keep it underground, your choice, hit continue. Fill out the boxes, choose a password. And go ahead and continue. Now we'll just wait for this stuff to get copied and we should be rolling here in just a few minutes. Installation is complete, but we do need to restart this. So we'll do that. All right, it's telling me to remove the installation medium, then reboot. I think this is just giving me some harassment here. So I'll power this off. I'm not gonna save the machine state. I'll power it off and then restart. Go back to the main screen on my virtual box and double click UB2. And that reset did work. So we'll sign in. And there we have it, Ubuntu Desktop is live in our virtual box. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Again, hope this video was helpful. Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.